terms, dealer price, list price, invoice, true cars, easy, new or used. See what you get before you get to the dealership. I want to bring on my friend, college basketball writer, author of that Kentucky basketball book called One in Fun, a behind-the-scenes look at John Calipari and the 2010 Kentucky Wildcats. Aaron Torres joining him on, uh, us on the show today. Okay, man, so I lean on you on this stuff. You know your stuff. So... Over the weekend, the best basketball player in the country, and they nailed all three this year. It used to be for about seven years, Calipari dominates recruiting. Something has happened in the last two years. Now Duke is beating Kentucky on all the top players. Aaron, what happened? Well, one, Coach K fully jumped two feet into this one-and-done thing. I think Coach K, towards the end of his career, says, I want, I want more banners, I want more wins. And Coach K has said many times, these guys were beating us at some point, the one-and-done elite high school player. And he said, you know what, if, if we can't beat them, literally let's get them over here. And so what I think has happened over the last two or three years is Coach K has really fine-tuned that sales pitch, right? Right. Yeah, because if you think about it, think about if Coach K comes into your house right now. He's going to tell you, Colin, the basketball player, hey, I've coached Team USA since 2005. I know he's not there anymore, but he's coached every impactful player. Kobe. Kobe, Kevin Durant, James Harden, Russell Westbrook, LeBron. You go on and on down the list. I mean, when you coach Team USA for 10, 12 years, that's the kind of So that's what the kid hears. That's what the kid hears. What the parent hears is my son gets to go to Duke. And if basketball doesn't work out, first of all, let's remember, uh, even a one-and-done player, they'll come in, they'll take summer school classes, they'll be about 35, maybe 40% of their way to a degree, even after one year, because they take all these summer school classes, some of the really uh, bright kids, so like I'll give you an example, so there's a kid named Wendell Carter on this yeah. year's team, power forward, he will be a one-and-done player, very bright kid, very academically inclined, he actually could have gone to Harvard, believe it or not, well, if you can't go to Harvard, Duke is a pretty good step down. You go to Duke. You start on that degree. I believe he had some academic credits from high school. He'll leave Duke after one year, about 40% of a way to a degree. Now he can come back in the summer. So, can, so yeah. it's a bulletproof pitch at Duke. Yes. It, the parents are blown away. And first of all, you don't have to go to either of them to go to the pros. I mean, last two number one picks like Ben Simmons, Markel Fultz, they went to non-basketball powers. Yeah. But what you're saying is Duke decided a couple years ago, we got to go all in on this pitch, and now their pitch is better than Kentucky's. Absolutely, and, and credit also has to go to Duke's lead assistant is Jeff Capel. Yes. He, yes, and, and for any basketball fan that remembers him, he actually coached, people forget, he was the head coach at Oklahoma. He's the guy who convinced Blake Griffin to come to Oklahoma a decade ago. So it's not as if he hasn't recruited these types of kids before so he gets in the home he kind of lays the groundwork coach k comes in i don't know if he just has olympic gold medals around his neck when he walks in or right. whatever but it is a very bulletproof point uh bulletproof pitch now i would say this john calipari got five top 25 players last year three in this current class yeah but i watched them saturday You're right. they're a mess well and they're that... not even close to good duke I, i've seen duke play four times february i start really watching college sure. basketball duke can win the championship duke's got the recruits duke's got the brand by the way calipari this is his ninth year this team has no shot to win tubby smith in a decade won one title and he was not beloved i think calipari listen to this bite on billions play this bite. i think calipari feels heat let's play this just how it is and you know we don't get every kid i've said that all along we get the ones that need to come here others choose not to and that's fine that's their choice um obviously the kids that have come here are worth over a billion dollars see i think that's a sales guy that played to his brand but i think that feels desperate to me but isn't but i mean is that any different that that's just his sales pitch and by the way it's important to note that uh, Kentucky is a fine act. Like, it's not Duke, but getting a degree from Kentucky, going to Kentucky, it's not a bad but thing. But that's not his yeah, pitch. Yeah, exactly. And and so what I'm saying is is that is his pitch, but I don't know. First of all, I didn't have a problem with it. I thought it was kind of funny, and I think it was kind of his reminder of, like, Coach K may, may be on this little run, but let not, let's not forget who started this thing. We've been doing this for a while now. And so I do think it was subliminal. It was a kind of a message out there to the next kid that might be considering both schools. I think I, – I, I really do. I believe that Calipari – like Kentucky is Alabama football. And I'll throw this at So in the southern footprint, Alabama in football, which is harder to dominate over time because of injuries, Knicks won five titles in nine years. Calipari's on his ninth year. He has one title only when he had his best player. 
in the end, this team's not getting better and bad. I believe Calipari feels absolute heat. I think this is, I think, I got nothing against Calipari. I think he's a bit of a salesman. You know, when he said, it, like, last year, he's like, it's not about titles. It's about the kid. Oh, shut up. John, we know what it's about. It's about you winning a title. That's what this thing is all about. Don't, don't you think, to some degree, John's a little bit of a sales guy and got caught here saying stuff this morning he regrets. Well, one, I don't know that he regrets it. I mean, you know, Colin, all these guys, everything that they say in the media is planned. It's by design. When Bill Belichick says Tom Brady didn't have open heart surgery, like there's a reason that Bill Belichick said that. And I think it's the same with Coach Cal here in that he said that, again, as a reminder, we're the ones that have done this from the beginning. Now, to the point about feeling heat, I don't know that he feels heat in terms of his job is on the line, but no, I no. yeah, but I, I, but yeah. Let me let the the me, I, I don't go to message boards. The message boards in Kentucky, uh, sports radio in Kentucky. After that home loss Saturday, Aaron, you covered this team. Yeah, there's no perspective in Kentucky. No, and it's the same with Alabama. It's it's the same everywhere. And so I do think, and also keep in mind, they lose that Florida game. It's their second straight loss. They haven't looked. They haven't just blown out a team in like a month since they played Louisville. And oh, by the way, Louisville with the assistant coach in the interim role is great. They're playing great. And so yeah, I think I, I don't want to say like the walls are closing in on him. Yeah. But yeah, I think let's play the big bite again. Sammy back. Play the big bite. I mean, this is can you imagine Saban or, or Coach K stepping to the podium and doing this to a rival? This this to me is something I don't sell. Like when you come here, the university and the state will take care of you the rest of your life. Wow. Listen to this. You may buy that. Oh, I got some great property and some swampland down in Florida to sell you too. Every one of us That's in this big. country is based on you got to take care of yourself. You prepare yourself. And then when you make it, you make sure you're helping. And along the way, you're bringing other people with you. And that's what we're trying to do. Just give these guys the best opportunity. We're not trying to say Woo. this university or state will take care of you the rest of your life. Wow. There's no socialism here. That's a shot this at stuff Duke. Is, you got to go that's, do it. And we're going to help you do it. Some like that, some don't like it. That to me is, am I overreacting? I can't believe we went there. I can't believe it. Well, well, for the fan that might not know, that is Duke's exact sales Exactly. Pitch. And and it has been, like, recruits, actually, ironically, Hamadou Diallo, who is on Kentucky right now, basically, somebody asked him when, when Duke was behind closed doors, what did they tell you? And he said basically exactly what Calipari said. There is, I think, people that are really embedded in this stuff that cover college hoops, that cover either team. There was no sugarcoating it. That was a direct. Oh. Yeah, direct at. <laughs> the, it wasn't oh. a vague. No. This could be about anything. Anybody, that was very much about Duke. Right at Duke. Yes. Right at Coach K. All right, his name is Aaron Torres, college hoop aficionado. He's got the book One and Fun behind the scenes. Look, they had John Wall, Boogie Cousins, Eric Bledsoe on that team by the book. Wouldn't you love a bigger tax refund? It's called TaxSlayer.com. Max your refund at TaxSlayer.com. Slay it. Uh, whatever the heck you want. Tax season, go for it and slay it. Great stuff. Aaron, hour three, Tony Gonzalez, two. In L.A., it's the Hurt.